Man versus Gun. Deutsche Waffen und Munitionfabriken Pa 08. Hello shooters, the first episode of Man vs. Handgun has to start with the iconic Luger. So we're going to uh, we're gonna do a close-up of this beautiful thing and show the idiosyncrasies, the good points, the bad points. We gotta cut this thing some slack. This thing was uh, adopted by the military in 1908. Uh, so, uh, so let's get into it. Here's the Luger, and let's put it on the scales to see what it weighs. I've already got it zeroed out. Luger with an empty magazine. One pound, 15.7 ounces, basically two pounds. Put that in perspective. Let's bring our Glock out here, also with an empty magazine. Let's see how many rounds it takes to equal two pounds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12. So a Glock in 12 rounds weighs the exact same as the Luger does empty. If you've never held a Luger before, it feels really good in the hand. The grip angle is a little bit steep. Um, what I mean by the grip angle is you got your axis of the bore right here. This angle right here, this angle right here is a steeper angle than say, actually you know what, I heard, I've heard that the Glock mimics the grip angle of the Luger and it almost does it's not quite as steep as the the Luger though so even though the Luger has a really steep angle uh, it's a single stack so it doesn't feel really wide but putting this uh, on it it is wider than what it looks it's 1.5 inches wide which is pretty wide for a handgun and that's up here at the safety. Um, it just doesn't feel like the bread is that wide too, but this doesn't feel nearly in, in, as big in the hand as like a, the bread of 92F. This is much more comfortable to hold than the 92F. But it is 1.5 inches wide, so that is, that's just a fact. So since this is an inch and a half wide, it's, uh, it's okay for duty use. Um, it's a little bit too wide for CCW. I gave that like middle of the road of three. And it's definitely not a pocket pistol. So there's where we go with that. The receiver is made out of steel. Remember, this is old school. This is, uh, you know, 107 or eight years old, if I do the math right. Uh, the design is, this one was made in 1941 during, uh, during World War II. Um, but, uh, but it's just old world's craftsmanship. You can't help but just appreciate the the fine machining on this. It uh, it is it, it's something to behold. Uh, the back strap, they're non adjustable back straps. That's just the way it is. Uh, but it does feel good. It's rounded. It's not square. It's not blockish. It feels good in the hand. Um, you know the the fit between the wood and the metal is really 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 good. The side panels, you can get different side panels, but not really. All you can get is replacement side panels, so they're not really adjustable like you can get different ones for like a 1911 or something. This is what it is. The trigger pull on this thing is, uh, the trigger pull on it is, it's about six and a half pounds, I would say, but it's smooth. There is some there is some stacking and there is some creep uh, but this is a steel trigger it doesn't feel like a clock or anybody else and once you get the wall it's a it's a it is a crisp break 
So it's got a good trigger pull and it's a single action so the trigger pull is the exact same every time. Which is excellent. That's what we want. The magazine well is not flared. The magazine well is not flared. And this particular magazine that it came with, you know, it doesn't go in real good. I mean it does, but there's, there, there's some stiffness to it. But it's, uh, but remember, this is, you know, 100 and, 107 years old, the design is. Uh, the magazine design is uh, pretty robust. It's pretty thick steel. I think it would survive some drops. We're obviously not going to do any drops with it. But it's, uh, it's a pretty robust magazine. The magazine base plate, I'm sure they didn't even conceive of doing type 3 malfunction clearance drills back in the day when, they, when, they, when George Luger uh, developed this thing. So the base plates are not uh, one hand manipulation friendly. It's just, uh, that's just the way it is. But uh, let's talk about the ease of seating. Some magazines, um, it's, there's, see that little bit of play there, that little bit of give? That's what I like in a magazine, so that it, it seats easy and comes back down a little bit. Some makes, you got to push it in all the way before it'll seat and it doesn't come back down at all. Those, those, they're typically harder to seat. So this does have a little teeny bit of play at the, at, at the top there which is, uh, I think that's a good thing. Uh, the magazine release is in a perfect spot, right where it belongs, right behind the trigger guard. And it is uh, hand checkered steel, uh, you know, because this is old world craftsmanship here. The safety is in a, kind of a sucky place. This is the safety up here. This is when it's on safe, and then this is off safe. Notice this little little flag right there. So that you can tell if it's on safe because you can't really feel back here with your thumb very well. Even if I can't, my thumb does, maybe I spent a lot of time with this Luger, it'd be different, but my thumb can't tell the difference between that and that. But my thumb can feel that. And if that flag's there, I know it's on safe. So I can switch it. And if there's no flag, I know that it's good to go. So that's kind of a cool little thing about this. But the safety is in a sucky low place, sucky place. There is no slide catch per se. The slide uh, or bolt or whatever it's called uh, will lock open on an empty magazine, but that's the only way it will lock open is on an empty magazine. So since we have an empty magazine, uh, let's lock it open. See, it locks open on an empty mag. And the only way to get it to close then is to stuff a new mag or put no mag in it. Let it up, and she's good to go. The front sight is an old school tapered front sight. It starts out kind of wide and ends up in a very fine taper. The rear sight is a very small notch, and in and it's a V notch. This is uh, this is old school stuff here. There's obviously. Um, there's obviously no, no light rail on this, and it is not optics compatible. So let's talk about the, uh, the manual of arms with this thing since we got it here. With, uh, with conventional handguns, we teach over the hand and rack the slide. This obviously is not conventional, and that won't work. How you have to operate this is your fingers grab both sides of this toggle action here, and you just pull up and let it go. So instead of inverting it, rolling it over on its side kind of and racking the slide like we do with other guns, this one you rack it the opposite direction, grab the toggle, pull up and back, and let it go forward. And that, uh, that's how you work the toggle on that. So in all your immediate action drills, well, I'll lock the slide back if I do that. Let's say that we had a magazine in there. We get a click and no bang. First thing we do is make sure our magazine is seated. Then we flip it over a little bit. Eject an old round. We flip it over like that, A, so we can work the toggle. And B, we want the crap to fall out over here. Let's, let's look at the magazine on the Luger. It is kind of a pain to load uh, if you don't use the loading tool. As you can notice, it's kind of like a Ruger 22 handgun magazine. It's got this thumb stud over here. But as you can imagine, the spring in this uh, 9mm magazine is much stronger 
than what you'll find in your Ruger 22 handgun magazine. So uh, Germans, they they got an I, they got an answer for that. This is the this is the holster that it comes with. Inside the holster, there's this little little tool right there. You take that little tool out, and this becomes your thumb stud. Now you can pull this down and hold it, and it's not a thumb buster like it was before. And this is also used to take the you can take the grips off the gun, and it's a little takedown tool, but it also is a magazine loader. So those of you that have a Luger, the that don't have this little tool thing, it's pretty much a must have or your thumbs will get really sore and you may not ever get the eight rounds in there um, without it. But uh, it just shows the German ingenuity and engineering where they think of uh, they think of everything on this little deal. It goes in this cool little pouch. The holster also uh, another unique thing about this type of holster is the the gun rides very deep in the holster. You can't get a you can't get a grip on it. You see how deep that rides? That's what this little pull lever is for. Is you pull on that, and it gets the gun up there far enough where you can reach in there and actually get it. And this is where uh, a spare magazine can be kept. This does not have a spare magazine, but. Uh, but uh, the owner of this, uh, uh, Lima Mike, he and I both think this is the original holster, just strictly from the, the fact that this is a holster, holster was made in 1941, and so is the gun. And the gun's in really, 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 really good shape. It uh, was probably a, you know, a supply officer or somebody that uh, never saw action, never saw any field use at all, because it's in such pristine shape. Anyhow, uh, shooting this thing. I've I've held Lugers before, but I've never shot one. This is the first Luger that I've ever shot. And I was really surprised at how smooth it is to shoot. The recoil is totally unlike anything I've ever shot before because of this toggle action. Uh, it, uh, it, is, it is a pleasure to shoot this thing. For one, because it just reeks of history. For another, it's, very, it's a very smooth shooting gun. The recoil isn't sharp, isn't harsh. One of the reasons I think is this toggle action is uh, conventional ones you have that slide coming back and hitting the frame at the end of the cycle every time. This doesn't do that. There's no slide to do that. It, um, so the recoil impulse isn't sharp at all. It's, it's really smooth. I highly encourage if you ever get a chance to shoot one of these things, do so. Uh, it'll, be, uh, it'll be a thrill for you. It's, it's definitely a fun gun to shoot. Anyhow, hope you like this review. I certainly enjoyed making it for you. If you have any comments, please post them below. And uh, thank you for watching, and have a great day.